written by Pino Donaggio called Io che non vivo senza te. She loved it. She went back to England, she recorded in English and it became her signature song. said, for me, singing is a way of escaping. I'm not longer in this world. I'm not longer unheard when I sing. Edith Piaf. translated in 48 languages. It is my great pleasure to sing for you the song tonight in all 48 languages. <laughs> She was actually also openly bisexual, which was very shocking in the 60s for the British. But she also had this <laughs> very, very sexy voice. So she, they pardoned her everything. She was the great Dusty Springfield. Lovers walk along the shore, leaving their footprints in the sand. Is the sound of distant drumming just the fingers of your hand? Pictures hanging on a highway and the fragment of a song of remembering faces. But who do they belong? The only boy who could ever teach me was the son of Britain. But yes, he was, he was. Oh, yes, he was. She walked on stage and she opened the show with a plea to God to please give him back to her. Mon Dieu, mon Dieu, mon Dieu, laissez-moi encore un peu mon amour. Before beginning, she became an international star and a British icon. Yes, the Goldfinger lady, Dame Shirley Bassey. 